Hello everyone, uh, today uh, we cover a topic uh, that is uh, neonatal uh, resuscitation. Uh, first we will see what is the introduction. Uh, globally one quarter of the newborn are uh, affected by asphyxia neonatal that is inability to uh, initiate the respiration. So this uh, because of this reason more neonatal deaths are there. So preventing uh, uh, this asphyxia neonatal death we can go with the newborn resuscitation procedure. By doing the newborn resuscitation 15 percentage of uh, neonatal death has uh, come down and uh, successfully the newborn life uh, saving measures has uh, a tool in order to bring out the healthy neonatal outcome. So we will see what is the meaning. Uh, the measures that is taken immediately after the birth of the uh, newborn that having the difficulty of uh, breathing. Uh, uh, we are going with uh, drying and stimulating, uh, maintaining the respiration, uh, suctioning, clearing the airway and providing positive pressure ventilation and external cardiac uh, massage uh, with the help of medications in order to uh, bring a uh, healthy neonatal outcome. So this is known as uh, neonatal resuscitation. This is one of the life saving measures of the newborn. So what is the purpose? Purpose or uh, uh, purpose if you see this will uh, uh, initiate the respiration for the newborn and it will maintain the uh, circulation for the newborn and uh, third one is it will uh, uh, overcome the any type of uh, acidosis uh, in uh, that is present in the newborn and it will uh, prevent the hypothermia, hypoglycemia and uh, hypokalemia of the newborn. So, so these are the major uh, purposes. Next we will see the steps. Uh, so you can remember like T, A, B, C, D. T means the first temperature has to be maintained, uh, second one is airway and uh, third one is B that is the breathing, uh, fourth one is circulation and uh, D is uh, for the drugs. So next we will see what are the uh, initial steps that comes under the uh, uh, resuscitation. So as a nurse, uh, uh, as a nurse we are in the obstetrical unit. So we have to see what is the antenatal uh, screening uh, of the mother, what any high risk mother is there, any fetal distress is there. So that factor has to be monitored and we have to uh, give a information to the uh, neonatologist also to come forward and a skilled uh, uh, nurse has to be there in order to receive the newborn and to give the uh, uh, re neonatal uh, resuscitations. So we have to keep all the articles that is needed for neonatal resuscitation. So first we will see what are the articles. Articles if you see uh, here uh, ampu bag is needed, uh, face mask is needed, uh, endotracheal uh, tube is needed and uh, airway is needed and uh, torch, uh, uh, endotracheal tube and uh, stillet is needed and a stethoscope uh, needed, uh, mask uh, uh, for the airway and oxygen uh, mask is needed, suction apparatus uh, and uh, suction catheters uh, are needed, mucus sucker, uh, daily lunch uh, uh, sucker uh, also needed and uh, yeah, if you see uh, uh, if uh, stomach decompression uh, if you want to give, uh, so we can give NG tube, uh, uh, NG tube or uh, feeding tube is uh, needed to remove the gastric uh, secretions and uh, next uh, if you see uh, drugs, drugs such as epinephrine, naloxin, uh, then next uh, sodium bicarbonate. So these are the major uh, drugs and volume expanders also can be kept ready. So uh, next we will see what are the procedure. Procedure in is initial step, first we have to see immediately after the birth, this, this procedure will take place within one minute. So immediately after the birth, we have to see what is the gestational age of the uh, baby and newborn. Next we have to see whether the baby having a uh, good breathing and what is the color of the baby and what is the muscle tone of the baby. If the baby is active, crying is good, muscle tone is good, gestational is term, uh, doesn't have any problem then we can give the baby to the mother side and uh, dry and stimulate clean the baby open the airway and routine care can be provided and uh, we have to assess for 30 seconds in this 30 second the baby is going with the labored breathing or gasping or cyanosis is there uh, then uh, uh, we have to go with the next procedure next procedure means 
first uh, maintain the position sniffing position of the head can be maintained the head can be in a uh, midline position so slightly extension of the neck can be kept the next uh, we can uh, uh, clear the airway with the mucus uh, uh, suc uh, suction then uh, here you can first go with the oral cavity then they can go with the nasal cavity so in order to prevent the aspirations uh, the next uh, next the clearing the airway after that we can go with the drying and stimulating the uh, baby so nicely we can uh, clean the baby and stimulating a baby by flicking the heat uh, rubbing the uh, feet and rubbing the back so this will uh, go with the stimulation of respiration also then next we can see whether the uh, baby uh, crying has uh, occurred whether the breathing has improved or not whether the color pink color has achieved so if all this parameter has happened then we can uh, go with the routine care again the baby is having uh, no no abdominal audible breath is there uh, again uh, having a gasping is there again cyanosis is there uh, then next uh, we can go with the assessing the saturation oxygen saturation of the uh, newborn baby so oxygen uh, saturation one minute uh, like uh, 60 to 65 percentage two minute uh, then uh, uh, 60 uh, 65 to 73 minutes 60 uh, uh, 60 uh, 70 to 75 uh, 4 uh, that is uh, 70 uh, 5 to 85 80 to 85 uh, uh, 10 minutes that is uh, 90 uh, 85 to 95 so like that they can uh, see the oxygen saturations so if the oxygen saturation is uh, less uh, according to this uh, criteria then we can go with the uh, administration assistation measure of uh, uh, ba ba bag and mask uh, ventilation for the uh, uh, newborn baby so in this bag and mask uh, ventilation appropriate size of uh, mask has to be selected and bag uh, different types of bags are there uh, flow inflating bag was, the, bag was there and the self inflating bag is there tp is resuscitation measure uh, bag is there so uh, uh, which is available in the hospital they can take uh, then they can go with the uh, breathing uh, respiration can be given that is the 40 to 60 breaths per minute can be given for the uh, newborn baby uh, again uh, if the uh, if the baby is not getting respiration color is cyanosis again we can assess for 30 seconds and again we can go with some modification reposition the baby and suction the baby the next extension of the head uh, decompression of gastric content if it is present uh, uh, then next uh, uh, next we can uh, uh, see for any abdominal uh, breathing is there for the baby so this uh, uh, mask is in the appropriate uh, position of the mouth and the nose so these all we can assess and uh, again we can assess whether the baby is a uh, newborn baby is getting respiration or not if the respiration is uh, uh, not achieved the next step is going for chest compression so in this chest compression uh, uh, we have to see heart rate of the uh, newborn baby if the heart rate is uh, uh, less than 100 uh, then we can go with the chest compression after giving the respiration also if it is going uh, le uh, less of heart rate then we can go with the chest compression and uh, re ventilation also so here if you see uh, 30 breaths uh, press uh, 90 compression that is totally 120 events can be given so the hand uh, the rescuer hand can be placed on the uh, chest level of the newborn encircle the hand the fingers can support the back of the uh, newborn and thumb can be placed on the chest so uh, with the thumb method we can give the compression or two finger method we can give the chest compression so uh, three compression and one ventilations can be given for the newborn and this has to be keep one third of the anterior diameter of the chest of the newborn and the, uh, this uh, pressure should not be exceed that is four centimeter or 1.5 inches more than uh, it can get injury of the chest so slowly we can give the chest compression and uh, uh, ventilation also and we can see uh, how the respiration whether the respiration is improving oxygen saturation is improving cyanosis has uh, reduced heart heart rate has increased or not if again the heart rate is uh, uh, going down that is uh, uh, less than uh, uh, 60 uh, uh, beats per minute then we can decide for any intubation procedure so endotracheal um, um, intubation so laryngoscope can be placed the baby has been positioned again uh, rolled uh, uh, towel can be keep under the neck uh, extension wide extension of the neck can be uh, assessed 
and next uh, we can uh, put the laryngoscope and we can see any obstruction is there suction needed suction and intubate can be done then again uh, we can give the positive pressure uh, ventilation and the drugs uh, uh, such as uh, uh, epinephrine can be uh, given in order to uh, bring or stimulate the uh, cardiac activities and uh, if any hypotension is there dopamine can be given naloxone can be given through IV or uh, uh, that is the umbilical uh, vein or uh, uh, with the endotracheal uh, uh, intubation uh, way and uh, if volume expanders can be uh, given uh, like uh, normal saline, ringal lactate uh, uh, solution, 5% uh, percentage of uh, plasma uh, 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 can be given for the newborn babies and sodium bicarbonate if suppose the baby is having metabolic acidosis this can be given. So, these are the some of the uh, life saving uh, drugs uh, that is uh, 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 very much essential in order to bring up the healthy neonatal outcome. So, this uh, this about the neonatal uh, resuscitation. So, post resuscitation uh, procedure. So, uh, after this uh, resuscitation if the baby is in a good uh, conditions we can give the baby uh, to the mother. So, maintain the uh, temperature and assessing whether any respiratory difficulty is there establish the breastfeeding if does not have any uh, uh, problem to the baby. If the baby is uh, uh, in good conditions uh, they can monitor nurse can monitor and continue breastfeeding can be given for the baby. If the baby is weak, uh, so endotracheal intubations and uh, uh, ventilator support can be given for the baby. So, if the baby is at death, we can stop the uh, CPR measures. So, these are the uh, points that we have discussed today. So, what is uh, uh, neonatal resuscitation? So, what is the meaning and what are the purposes? What are the articles and how the procedure has to be done and what is the uh, post uh, procedure, uh, post neonatal resuscitation? So, uh, this is all for today class, um, Mrs. Nima signing off, uh, till we meet the next video.